I just knew before I come here that it was all about the glacier, that it was pretty tricky, an ultimate race. A few people have said, like, if you call yourself a mountain biker, then you had to come and do this. Come on, let's go. We are in Alpe d'Huez, racing the Mega Avalanche. What is it, Chris? Good vibes, man. Alpe d'Huez is a pretty cool village. Um, it's quite a big village. We're up really high here, around 2,000 meters or so. So many people that ride bikes, the whole range of people. So professionals to people that like to go out on the weekend to do it and to, to challenge themselves whether they can complete this, I guess. I always thought it's something absolutely mental to do. Full face helmet, going down the hill for a whole hour. I didn't really know what to expect. I knew it's going to be hard, but I was up for the challenge. How people have said how hard it is, how tricky it is, how physical. I've been pretty nervous, but also just to get through the thing, I think is such an achievement for anyone. We're getting lift passes for the week at Mega. It's going to be cool. Buzzing. Yeah, large, what Ronan says, a little bit snowy, long, tall, grassy, some bits. It's not cold anymore. But yeah, I'm gonna go for our first run with everyone. Shall we get on? It's my third year doing it now. Did it a long time ago whenever I was like 15, 16. Yeah, I'm back again for the first time in four or five years or something like that. So, pretty keen to be back. I didn't even think I'd get the opportunity to do it, let alone think I'd have like the balls to <laughs> give it a shot myself. Like, yeah, it's definitely a crazy thing to comprehend. The riding here is pretty mad. You're up quite high already, and there's just lifts everywhere. Up massive mountains, going through a few of snow, end up in a different village, get a massive gondola up again, ride some other trails. It's pretty endless here, Venice. Fucking starving. <laughs> Got big fat burger, nuggets, more chips. Don't know why the fuck they put lettuce there, but sure. Sure, look. Oh. Yeah, we kind of concentrated maybe a bit more on the qualifying because it is super important to get a good qualifying to get front row or as close as you can to the front row for the for the actual race on the Snow in July, it's pretty sick also. When you're here for a week and you're doing the whole Mega Avalanche event, you get to ride every train you can imagine except lava. Everything except lava, basically. Right, so it's a bit of a last minute panic, but we're doing dual. We signed on, but we may have missed practice. No, it'd be a laugh, it'd be good. We're here, we're in it. Cheers, Rob. <laughs> Straight on the beer. Dual slalom and beers. Now we're the beer already. Thanks, man. I'm a proper athlete, not a manager, so. If, it, if I get smoked. <laughs> Great laugh at Jewel Slalom, that was sick, um, which gave us a pretty good idea of what the whole place and the vibe was about from the, in the first few days. <laughs> Do you want a proper explanation? Yeah. So we're going to drop in, <laughs> highest gear, full crank spinning out, death gripping, balls behind the walls, <laughs> powers <laughs> behind me on my slipstream, gets the over to you, I come in sliding, t bone the earth, the snowbank, shrub the snowbank, send it on, there's like some whoops, t bog pedal tuck, and there you go. I knew the first bar was on the snow, that was really scary. I was really scared about that. Um, we had one day where we went up in the morning and we rode it, the slopes, and yeah, I was terrified. Like, it was absolutely terrifying. 
Absolutely mental. Let it dance, baby, let it dance! This is so sick! Oh my god! I can't stop! Oh, I think I can't stop laughing, mate. Honestly, that is so funny watching. The most important race of the year, the chainless race, at the top of the run, DMC D1. Uh, we've got the chain off, as you can see. Spins fast. All about carrying speed, try not to break in the turn, get your angles good, set up high, rub. And the start's important, you have to get a good launch, so traction control off, dump the clutch and run like bollocks. Anyone gets in my way, I'm gonna ask them to politely move. <laughs> Yeah, there were some fun side events, I would say. I didn't take that too serious. First place from Veronica Wiedmann! So the goal of qualies, you, you need to do as best as you possibly can because that, that ranks you for where, what row you're, you're in. You've got A, B, C and it goes back. That ranks you for how you start on the snow. It's really pumping up now. I got the big tunes. It's time for the whole shot. Lawrence, we're off. Qualifying is super important to just go as hard as you can. Sprinted out the start. A good hard sprint. Went for the whole shot. Couldn't hold it. There was shot how competitive it is at the very, very front. Um, everyone's going as if their lives depended on it, which was pretty sick. Excited. A bit, a bit scared. Right, ready to go. Oh, fuck, 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 I had a slip in the third or fourth corner, the left hander, and just fell on my face basically. I managed to claw it back, it was great fun. I think I went really confident into qualies. Um, I didn't expect what happened because I had a 
crash right after the start. Like this, you know, the girl went into under my handlebars and I just crashed. Yeah, I didn't expect that. Maybe because in your mind you're always racing alone. <laughs> Down here it's just you on the track by your own and no one else. And basically I lost a whole bunch of time and everyone was gone and I was dead last and still went for it and it was a really cool run down, overtaking loads of people and Pretty clean. Followed Adrian Laurent to the top bit. Top bit, I have no idea where I was going, so just followed him. Very clean, too clean, I think. Wanted a bit more like battling with guys, but yeah. Just the, the other five guys in front of me were super, super fit guys, and yeah. I got sixth, so I mean, up. Just like wild. Like, the top, there's so many people around you, there's like rocks going everywhere, you're trying to hold a line. All of a sudden, it's like boulders. Like, Crazy. I just went as hard as I could, pedals as hard as I could. Tried not to cough up any lungs. Five thirty, be out of the house. Yeah, that was an early start. I think I was very nervous, I have to say that. I was very, very nervous, like race nerves like worse than before a World Cup. And this is something completely new, like absolutely out of my comfort zone. Like just not knowing what to expect, like how that snow is gonna feel, how is it to start in such a big field. So I was terrified. Hard. Look at those two bikers there. They said they were walking because it's maybe not hard enough for riding. That's not good. I have to go for it because in the end it kind of decides how you, you do that first part on the snow. That's going to decide how the whole race is going to go. Alarma! <laughs> and then it's that music and then everything stops. The tape drops and you just go. I just kind of took it steady because the snow was so slow, it was actually really hard to ride it. You couldn't really ride it. Right at the start there were two girls gone and I was in third position and I basically held that place for the, for the whole bar on the snow. I was riding really well. I just had a stupid little slide out in a, in a turn where there was nothing really, it was more just a second of not being concentrated and I crashed on my bar so my brakes moved, my shifter um, must have hit. Uh, I went into the compression and the shifter was gone. So I think I stuck in second to last, hardest gear. I knew I was in third place. I really want to keep that third place. If, if I make it up that climb, I know I could make it to the finish. I'm happy. It's all went well. I'm I'm really happy. Like for for that stupid little crash and then having no shift. Uh, it was it was so good. It was so good. It was a great experience. Hello, I am Bruno. I am number one model in all of Europe. Bruno! I snowboard a bit and I could go down a black run, sort of like no worries. But 
to imagine doing that on my bike was pretty insane. That is the most nerve wracking out of all of this for me anyway, is just flying down a piece with no, <laughs> no intention of trying to slow down. Hey, you would be down and getting frostbite out of here today, it's more up on the upside bike. It's going to be a big queue, it's going to be cold, especially when you're up that high, so you always bring a coat, have a coffee up there with you. Prepare, get yourself all buzzed, and then drop into the big scary snow. Up last mega! <laughs> so we're here at the top of Mount Everest. As you can see, specimens are everywhere, and uh, we're about to send it down the mountain into the glacier. Wish me luck. I thought I was for sure not going to make it down cleanly. Like I thought I was going to get like going to cause myself to crash just like sliding out because it's slippery stuff. Or I thought someone else was going to clean me out. I really struggled in the snow. It's quite hard to just get going, and the ruts and you can't just stick in a straight line. You're just all over the place. When there's like a bit of a plateau at the bottom, we're all running probably 10 minutes of running or so with your bike, so it's a proper challenge to get through. Then after that got onto the rocks where the snow was a bit patchy and really started coming into what I felt like coming into my own really. Your adrenaline is just so high and you're just not yourself really. You're not yourself, you're all like really egoed up and really wanting to overtake people. Everyone's the same, but yeah, just sprinting against others, I thought that was sick. It's something they don't get to do in downhill. Coming across that finish line, I had nothing left in me, which is kind of the best feeling ever, knowing that you put 110% down. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. All in all, that was sick. I enjoyed it. I'll definitely be coming back. Definitely want to do better already. I was so bad in the snow. I've never been on the limiter for so long. And then had to ride crazy techie trails. That close to the edge, like, felt like the whole time. I was absolutely ruined, but absolutely stoked. It was amazing. Like, it didn't seem real. It still, like, barely seems real to end up where I did. Oh, it's unbelievable. When you get through the finish and you've got 58 minutes of racing behind you, it's pretty overwhelming, to be fair. I was absolutely buzzing, even though 88th is nothing really that special. You can't really get that feeling anywhere else, and it's hard to describe, but you would never get that in any other race that I've ever done. In the end, it's all about having a good time, having fun. There were so many women and it was so cool to see, you know, like older, younger, like so many of us. And I think we are kind of all in the same boat. Like I was as terrified as them. And I think that's also a nice thing, even if they're more experienced rider, less experienced rider. This whole week was eye-opening, awesome. And you just need to come and do it to, to find out what it's about. <laughs>